Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Mr. Shubba back with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to make a thumbnail in Sony Vegas Pro 12. Uh, now, the idea was suggested by this person right here, uh, Kurd Load. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but yeah, thank you for the idea. I decided I would make it. I've been really busy, and this is actually going to be a really quick tutorial because it's really freaking easy. Uh, now, open up Sony Vegas. It should be opened up already, as it is right over here, uh, like this. Now, when you're making a thumbnail, the thumbnail resolution that I use is 1280 by 720. Uh, I found that's the best resolution. It works really well. You don't want to go above that or below that. Uh, and it's a good resolution. So to make that setting, just go over here and click on the project video properties. Click that, and this should be 1280 by 720. All this stuff doesn't really matter when you're making a thumbnail, but for now, just leave it like this. Bam. Now, when you're making a thumbnail, you obviously want to relate to something. So. I recently did a review for Battlefield 4 on my gaming channel and it worked it came out pretty good so I'm gonna if I look over here I could see all this gaming footage so I'm gonna make a thumbnail for Battlefield 4 so just go over here drag that in yeah just adjust that and there's some Battlefield 4 footage and it's pretty cool so we're gonna decrease this all the way over here the length does not matter because when you're making a thumbnail you only use one frame so that's all you really need to know uh, now put now you obviously want to put text over your footage, which is going to be really easy. So right click anywhere in the uh, blank area and go to in oh sorry in go to insert video track, and then it's going to put a track right on top of your uh, little cutscene your frame. Now right click in that empty space and go to insert text media. Now you can have pretty much whatever you want over here. VF uh, four review like this. Uh, we could change our font to to our fonts whatever to uh we can change our fonts to whatever we want uh, I'm gonna go with impact when when you're doing a a thumbnail it's really important that you have a big fat fonts because they are the best to you know be viewable when people are browsing on YouTube now one more thing you always ha one more thing you always have to do when you're making a thumbnail for YouTube is that you have to put a black outline on all of your text uh, if you don't put a black outline it's really hard to um, you know look at your text it's a little bit weird it doesn't look very nice so on, on Sony Vegas Pro 12 you have to go to the outline right over here this little side menu uh, hold on one sec like this there's a side menu right here uh, outline I'm gonna make it black on older Sony Vegas I mean sorry younger I guess um, you won't have to click this it'll be somewhere around this general area you'll see it and just increases all the way and as you can see this gives black lines over here. Now let's say that this you're done right now. You are done. Remember that you can make your you can make your things as your thumbnails as fancy as you want. So let's say, oh okay, I wanna insert another video track and I'll make this look super fancy by adding this and adding my logo here. Yeah, super fancy. This is not really my logo, but I'm just gonna go with randomness. Uh hold on guys. One sec. Ben, let's just say this is my logo. It's freaking weird. You just put that logo anywhere you want. Maybe like this, you know, use pan crop to design where everything would be. In order to access pan cropped, uh, you can either click this little uh, square symbol or right click and go to pan crop. And pan crop just adjusts the position of where everything is. So if if you're done with this, if this, this is what you want, it's really easy to save. Just click the save button right over here. Save snapshot to file. Click that. Go over here and just type in whatever you want. Uh, now remember to save as PNG. It's going to be a JPEG as default. Just make sure you change that to PNG because PNG looks a lot better than JPEG. And then once you save, just go ahead and save. Voila. And you should be done. Now, uh, you everyone is not going to have the option to have a custom thumbnail. Uh, I think you need about like 2,000 or 1,000 views in total in order to have the option for a custom thumbnail. But once you achieve that, you'll be able to put a uh, custom thumbnail in when you're uploading your video. Uh, let me show you guys an example. Uh, hold on. Let's go over here. Uh, upload. I don't really... Okay, hold on one sec, guys. Uh, I don't really have a video to upload. Ah, oh, poop. Well, let's just say I want to upload this image. Yeah, I cannot upload images. Well, I can't really show you guys, but that's a general idea. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a really short tutorial, and it might have been a little bit rusty because I'm trying to hurry through this. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, uh, hit the subscribe button below. Yeah, goodbye.